welcome to another edition of Value My Vote 2011 one-on-one -on -one with the candidates. And we're joined by a third district candidate, Mr. George Van Hook. How you doing, sir? Good afternoon, Hassan. How are you? Pleased to be here. I'm just right. And thank you for taking the time out of actually going out in the community. I know you're out there every day knocking on doors and telling your story and your vision on why you want to be the next councilman for the third district. So for the voters who are watching it, why don't you start by telling them why you want to be the next district councilman in the third? Quite simply, Hassan, I want to change the trajectory of leadership. I want to change the attitude of leadership. And I want to establish a clear vision that places priority on children, on communities, community engagement, and goes back to basic democratic principles, which means that government should be of the people, by the people, and for the people. And that's what I want to do. You were a former uh, Baltimore City School Board member, six years. Right? That's it. I'm sorry. Um, and so obviously that's probably going to translate into education being one of your priorities. Why is education a priority and what will you plan to tackle if you're elected as the next councilman in regards to education? I believe that when we free the mind, the behind will follow. And so what I'm saying is that when people think differently, they act differently. The thinking is a predicate for the attitude. And the attitude, as I said a few days ago, determines the altitude. We can change the way people think. We can change the way people behave. And we can create more discipline. And I believe our school system is the best factory for those things to occur in conjunction with homes that value education and establish uh, the belief that our children can learn and produce great things. Now, as a former school board member, this question is brought up a lot here in the city of Baltimore. What would you be your view? Do you value more of an elected school board or an appointed school board or more of a, um, of a um, uh, uh, hybrid school board? <laughs> Certainly that, that is a controversial issue. My concern is establishing a criteria for leadership. What kind of people are we looking for? Mm -hmm. What is their record of service? Are they committed to their communities? And do they have children in the public school system? Those things, I believe, are indicators of the belief that our leaders have in the system. And are they willing to do what I thought I did well, which is to engage the community in the process? So it's not so much the selection process, it is the criteria for leadership. And I believe that we need to make sure that our leaders reflect the values and the beliefs of the citizens. Um, when we look at education, and we'll talk on more other topics as well, but education is a big priority in the city. And it's one that 15% of the overall budget goes to education, whereas though 40, 45% goes to public safety and crime which is a big difference, when, especially when you look at other jurisdictions that usually make about 50% going to education and kind of vice versa. Would you try to change that par paradigm when, if you are elected as the next councilman? You know that I value education. Mm -hmm. And one of the little secrets is that most of the money for our public school system comes from the state. Well over 70% of our funds are given to us by state legislators who may or may not have the same values as we do. We need to change the maintenance of effort formula and put more into our schools because I believe that the problems that we right now face in our communities can be directly linked to children who are not being educated and not engaged in citizenship, which will lead to active and positive behavior in our communities. So I would put more into schools as well as recreation centers and those alternatives that are available for training and citizenship. Democracy is a tough process when people don't know what they believe in and how to participate in the decision-making process. We need to do a better job of engaging, and this show is, is one of the things that we can do to educate our citizens about the possibilities. 47,000 plus vacant properties in the city of Baltimore. Crime, obviously where you're running northeast, has been focused as of late uh, with a lot of burglaries yes, and shootings and robberies and other so what would be the top two issues that you focus on now and your first hundred days if you're elected in the third district certainly community engagement is the lifeblood of any change so i believe that whatever we do in public safety or schools should be based on the plans the aspirations and the commitments of communities 
community associations in this city are a strong part of the fabric of our, of our city and also our leadership. I believe that we need to empower them to be part of the discussion. I believe also in creating partnerships between the business community, the school community, and everyone who has a vested interest in seeing great neighborhoods so there, there are more resources at the table. So in the first 100 days, I would be trying to bring people together for a strategic action plan that would be based on the commitment, the dedication of citizens who are willing to sacrifice on behalf of their children and also the families. There are no magic formulas. Even with public safety, it is based on what communities are willing to sacrifice to get. Maybe something simple like community night outs or speaking to each other when we walk on the street or correcting a child when the child has exhibited aberrant behavior. These are things that we can do. These are things that we must do. I'm not looking for a lot of expensive uh, strategies that we know we can't sustain, but I am looking for creativity and also uh, dedication to the task of building. And so schools, community centers, and the revitalization of community uh, organizations would be part of that effort. And I believe that the business community certainly needs to be revitalized as well. For those who are watching, how can those who want to get more information of George Van Hook or want to get involved in the campaign and help you out or even donate, how can they find out more about George Van Hook? My website is www.friendsofvanhook.com. Again, that's www.friendsofvanhook.com. I'm very, very proud to be part of a movement that is about rejuvenating and resurrecting positive attitudes. Because again, I believe that attitude, not aptitude, determines our altitude. And finally, Hassan, I believe that there is a treasure of intellect, spirituality, and greatness in our communities. Not everyone is a bad actor. Not everyone is a juvenile delinquent. We have tremendous people. Let's link the people and create an energy, a synergy, that will lead to positive change for everyone. Well, George Van Hook, we want to thank you for thank taking you. your time out. We wish you all the best in your run for 3rd District and the City Council. Thank you. And we'll be back with more of Value My Vote.